So a couple times um, I've been asked what do I use on my um, Australian Labradoodle's face to do their um, around their eyes or their beard um, and their bangs. So first of all, you know, I got a, a comb that I, I like to use. Um, we have a curved shear for around the eyes. Here's my regular thin and shear. And then for the beard, um, I either can use this or um, a set of chunkers. So I'm gonna get my girl up here in just a minute and try to set this up so you can watch me um, shape up her face a little bit. So give me just a second. All right, so this is Wren. I'm gonna shape up her beard, um, shape up a little bit around her eyes, maybe trim off some of her ear hair. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna try my best to let you see everything, is um, we're gonna clean out the corners of her eyes. So this hair right here and here. So how you do that is you take your comb and you comb everything back. Okay, you take your thin and shears. And I like to get uh, fingers and just ruffle up the hair right there. See how it's standing up? How that hair's standing up? Um, on both sides. And then I lay my thin and shears at an angle, right close to her eye. Do not get her, her lids of her eyes, but what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take off just the corners, just the corners. Now on this one, it's easier for me to look down, baby. To get that down. And you still see there's some there, so you can, you just lay it, just lay it. Don't get the, the eyelids, but you're going at an angle towards the corner of the head. And you're just cleaning that out. I'm gonna do this side again. I'm just roughing it up with my fingers. Do not go across. You don't cut. You don't cut across this way. So shake that up. That looks nice and open. And then what I want you to do is brush all the bangs forward. shears and what I'm going to do is I want to go at an angle again and go in some people like it a V go to enter that would be the inside of the V so the V goes like this I like a little bit more wide so what I do is if I can get it there you go baby I go in and just snip and make a look just a wide like U and then come down the other side. Eventually what you want is you want this piece of your hair to blend in with the ear. So this ear's got to be short a little bit. So let's, let's see. Can you look down please? Thank you ma'am. All right, you see that the U right there? If you want more cut, that's your preference. I like the corners of the eye to be slightly covered. It's just the classic look of an Australian. Again, some people like the, the V cut. I like a little bit more open, so I'm gonna do the U. There we go, there. Roll that off, all right. And then a way to watch to see the hair um, Lay naturally, grab them right here, and softly shake them, kind of like how they do themselves. And then you can see it. You can look down again, babe. This is gonna be trimmed up. I can see one little piece right there. That can be snipped. All right. As long as, I mean, if you have a dog that's moving around, I wouldn't use um, long shears, but as long as the point is past the eye, you don't have to worry about it. If you don't know your dog is going to be still, don't do this. You don't want them to jerk and you poke them in the eye. 
Okay. All right. So the next tr trick real quick would be the beard. What you don't want to do is go back here and cut this part of the beard short. That's why you pull everything forward. So from back here by the eye, pull it forward past the nose. Because what it's gonna do is, it'll cut this section shorter and leave this one longer. There'll be like a layered look so it'll cascade like it's supposed to. So what I like to do is I grab my fingers. See there, to the finger, in between the two fingers. And I want it however long, I'll slide my finger out however I need to. This is where I get my chunkers. And the reason why you don't wanna do a straight shear or a straight cut is because the chunker gives it more of the uneven look, more natural look to it. So I just cut that off and then I lift it up. And you can already tell that one side's shorter than the other. So we're gonna do, try to do the same length, pull everything forward. to judge it best you can. I see some pieces are longer than others. So we're gonna step some of that off. Good girl. Let's see. Ooh, how pretty. Yes, ma'am, you're a pretty girl. Yeah. If you want your underneath part of your beard, you go across to the throat and trim some of that up. You gotta keep your mouth shut for a second. Okay, gotta get that shaped up a little bit. All right, now, for the ear, I'm gonna turn her sideways. This is the trick I like to do with the ears. You're gonna brush them down. I like to start in the middle. I'm gonna slide my two fingers, one underneath the ear leather, the one in the top, and we're gonna go all the way down until your fingers slide, you feel it, like slide off the ear leather. And then all this is nothing but hair. So you can cut it however short or long you want to cut it. But on an Australian, I like a little bit more of a shorter ear because it gives them the teddy bear look. With this, you do want to cut straight across, not thin and sheer. Get it down. And then what you do is you literally follow your line on the first cut and you follow the line all the way to the back of the ear down. Thank you. Make sure you get, see that, I don't know if you can tell that uneven, get it even cut. And then you're going to come back through and make sure you didn't miss anything. Head down. And it's a, I'm using curved, but it doesn't matter. Not, you're just not going to use a thin and shear with it scissors okay then you're gonna come forward towards the front part of the ear and you come about I don't know just a small section of the curve to continue and this way I like to do it forward brush it down see that that needs to be cut off All right, and now this, the side of the ear, you want to pull forward. Don't cut it with the rest of the ear. Get all that face hair out of there. You pull this forward and you cut it straight up. Okay, that's gonna give you the side of the hair. And by collecting all that, can you see the cut marks in there? You, you're cutting layers into the ear hair. All right, this needs to be a little bit more. You, you can just judge it. I just want my girl to look cute. She's not gonna go in the showroom anytime soon, so. so. Now, here's another trick. Let me turn her this way. Get the ear to look cute and fluffy. 
with different layers. We're gonna comb it up. Comb all this ear hair up and let it stand up. And then what I do, get, get the head hair out. I just do little small snips to shape it. Not much, you're just taking just the tips off just to give it a little shape. I think this needs to come off some more. Oh, you got more ear hair than I thought. Oh, yes you do. There we go. All right, so that's one head, one ear. Excuse me. Okay, so to trim up some of the top of the head, you don't want a round ball. It's not like a poodle. It's almost kind of like a square head in a way. Maybe not that flat, but it kind of needs to lay a little bit like that. So if you need to trim some of it up, you're gonna do it in all kind of different ways. First of all, we're gonna get a piece and start our length. So I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna get my chunkers. Remember, you don't want blunt cuts. You just want something that looks uneven and, and can, will lay more natural, okay? And you go all over. to do let's get this side a little bit early gotta have a matching sides you know way now you do this way if you're unsure cut a little off at a time you can always go back and fix if you cut too much you just have to wait for a grow out one thing I've learned and I tell everybody it's hair it will grow back probably faster than what you want it to do good girl now, when you get back here to the back, a smart thing to do is to make sure it goes at an angle, pull up, and then pull forward. And what it does is leaves the hair in the back longer, so it'll cascade in the back of their neck like it's supposed to, and blend very well. So, towards the back. On the side, you need it on the side to do the same, same thing. Let me show them. You pull up and over. And remember what that's going to do is going to leave this side, this side longer. Good girl, man. You're a good girl. Let's see what you look like. How's that look, huh? We got one ear done, one ear not. So. You got the gist of the idea. Okay. So now, with this part of the beard and face, you're going to comb it down, and you're going to get the ear out of the way. Pull it back out of the way. And you're going to cut down to about the jawline, and then round it. And then you stop out right here. Look down, baby and then start rounding it this way so all this will flow in. Try not to cut cut the side, not the top of the uh, head. And I do like to use the curved shears because it already gives me a shape, okay? Look at me. Whoa, that's a good girl.
Mm-hmm. And remember, I didn't, I didn't mess with anything up here because it goes into the head. All right, I'm gonna finish her up and I'll show you the, the done product. 